Election activity is at its peak. Candidates are trying hard to impress their voters. For the first time, people from the region will send their representatives to a provincial assembly. Saturday's election is part of an effort to fully merge it with the neighboring Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province. FATA, or the Federally Administered Tribal Area, is a special tribal belt bordering Afghanistan. It is known for being a hub of militant activity for the last 40 years, ever since the then Soviet Union invaded Afghanistan. At the time of the Soviet invasion, there were training camps all over FATA. I used to be a student at that time. I have been to those camps. I saw them with my own eyes. After U.S.-led forces invaded Afghanistan following the 9-11 terrorist attacks, many Al-Qaeda and Taliban members escaped to FATA and found safe havens. In the years since, many of them regrouped here, trained here, recruited here, and carried out attacks from here against Afghanistan and in some cases Pakistan. Decades of extremism radicalized the entire region. Whether the merger will help reduce that depends on how the government deals with the issue, say observers. It is highly unfortunate that in Pakistan, efforts to de-radicalize have been at a very small scale, small programs of 100, 200 people at a time. But there has not been a comprehensive campaign to change the mindset. I don't expect militancy to rise to previous levels, but more work needs to be done. Two women are among hundreds of candidates competing for 16 seats. One of them, Nahida Faridi is carrying out a public door-to-door -door campaign. In an extremely conservative area where women are hardly seen in public, this is unheard of. Afridi understands her chances of winning are low, but continues nonetheless. It's not about winning or losing. It's about including women in a political process. The fact that my picture is displayed in public and I'm campaigning in a bazaar, this is the change we're trying to bring. We're challenging the status quo. We're progressing. Afridi hopes the next generation, the little girls watching her campaign, will one day benefit from her efforts. Aisha Tanzim, VOA News, Khyber Agency, Pakistan.